Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. It's your boy Cardigo Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Let's get it popping. Can I do anything else? Hey. Damn cat, I'm glad you're back, bud. Damn it, cat. Hmm. All right, let's go to sleep. So heavy, trying to kill me. <sighs> My body feels like a boulder slowly sinking into quicksand. You ate one too many Big Bang Burgers when you were in that palace, little cat, huh? I see you, big dog. Hey. What's up? What's going on here? You brought over another girl? It is what it is, Sojiro. It is what it is. Not what I meant. Anyway, don't break her heart, all right? That's not what I meant. And then you proceed to say that second sentence. Like, what the fuck? Make up your mind, dog. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know. No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? You might regret that. These motherfuckers are bombarding me with texts all day, every day. Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. Splendid idea. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? You can always be here in spirit. I got a laptop. Well, we can yeah. FaceTime. We can FaceTime. You go. I I got this. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? This is a fucking transaction? What's popping here? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you've even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? I'm gonna take care of him, man. Don't worry about that. Let's talk to her. Alright. I think Ryoji needs to stop thinking about what our fans think of us. That's what he needs to do. Fiance guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. Okay. 
That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Are you able to live with that? Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. Well, I'll be damned. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? Don't start, you guys. You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. Really? Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? So y'all have something to talk about. Fuck y'all. The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, alright? Of course! We'll get them both. October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. Oh, for show, for show. But until then... I can't forgive them! We'll punish him, man. We'll punish him. I'm just sad about the fact that the cases that we can't punish. Uh, let's see here. I, I don't think we can do anything. Hey! You were so motivated, so extra just a second ago, but now it's like, ah, you gotta go to bed. Okay. Hey man, don't 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 ask me those rhetorical questions. Go to bed. Well then. People are starting to wonder when the next calling car is going to show up. We should send it soon. If Haru is sold off, our failure will sully the Phantom Thieves' name. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Mission start. I got it. Text messages. No, don't start now. No. What's up? Acting a little weird, Takemi. Nah, later. There's later for that. Uh, we have... We have a request. In progress. Winners don't use cheats. That we have to look up. Let's go to the, um... Let's go to... What am I doing, man? I forgot the controls for this shit. Let's go to Shibuya Shibuya. And uh, the arcade. Hey, we've met before, haven't we? That makes us friends, right? You think you can lend me some money? Fuck that, and fuck you too. Yeah, for real. What do you know about King? Yeah, that's him. He's in elementary school, but he's a real pro at playing gun about. 
He's only a damn grade schooler. He has to be a cheater too. I hear that he usually plays at the Gigolo Arcade in Akiba. He's actually really good at the gun about. People can tell from the way he moves. You might be able to find him during the day. Elementary kids can't get into arcades at night. Alright. That's our next destination. Let's get it. Electric Town. Do we have any new books? That's not a bookstore at all. <laughs> arcade. I want to go to the arcade. Is this it? Yep. Gigolo. Got it. You know, one might not say an arcade is what pops up when you hear the word gigolo. Noobs. There he is. That's the king right there. Oh, I heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must be in grade school still. Is dual wielding this motherfucker? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy for him. Well, I guess that's that. Get smoked. What a monster! The king may have some tips on how to defeat the cheater. I should negotiate with homeboy. What do you want? I won't talk, little homie. Nah, sounds too much like work. Don't take it personal. I'll turn everyone down. Later. There's an invincible player that needs to be handled, if you know what I mean. Invincible, huh? You mean that guy who cheats, right? It really makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him. So I don't really care. Just forget about him. He's bothering someone now. I won't let the bad guys win, though. Oh, you sound like the Phantom Thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater. You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. The Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? I saw their first success, homeboy. <laughs> oh, you mean at Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Seems like you're very well versed in the Phantom Thieves. But um, teaching you how to play a gun about won't be easy. And I won't get anything out of it. Let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, right? Man, I can get you some gum. You want some Jenka? What the fuck you need? How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. But it's probably impossible. If you can help me do that, I'll teach you how to play. What do you say? Is it a deal? It's a deal. Huh? Seriously? Well, if you really want it that much, then... <sighs> I thought for sure you were going to give up. Man, I didn't see this coming. But the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? Positive, homie. What's your name? Huh? You gonna tell them my name? My name is Shinya Oda. Hey. Tell the Phantom Thieves my name and have them posted somewhere only they would be able to access. That would be good enough as an autograph and proof that they know my name. Proof that you really know the Phantom Thieves, huh? We need something credible for this kid to believe us. I put his name on a calling card or something, man. Didn't Futawa say she hacked into Gunabout's server or something? Let's bring this up with her. Might lead us to some good ideas. Ah, let's do that then. Back to Jongen Yaya. And get me to... Hmm, Backstreets, I suppose. She should be around the corner, right? Yep, there she is. All right. You found the king? No surprise there. 
So, did he tell you how to take down that cheater? No. He's going to on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away though, and that's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the gun about server and do something. But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. We could send him a calling card. A calling card? What are we going to steal? Oh yeah. How about the homepage? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. Okay, I'll write a calling card saying that we're going to steal the gun about homepage. After that, you will need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The king will have no choice but to really believe it was us. <laughs> this sounds like fun. I'll put a logo smack dab on the top of that friend page, man. Perfect. We'll go see the king. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him. So wait for our word to start the hacking. All right. Ah, you can count on me. Right. Back we go. The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Fuda about to do the hacking? Contact her. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. All right. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Yup. Calling card? Huh? Ah. <gasps> something written on it thanks for your support please help those in need that would be us this is a promise to you from the phantom thieves we're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website oh is is this for real i'll check the home page and let us know i mean you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store yeah but what about the home page message the official Gunabout website? That's a horrible name for a game though. Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Hey, I can't explain all my party tricks, right? So they want to remain anonymous. That's right. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. Guess you ain't sleeping tonight. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. That's what most people say. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. Okay. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. What you think I'm doing? No, no, no. You're just stopping their movement by doing that. Ugh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. His instructions are precise but also Spartan like. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player, and why everyone also watches him from a distance. Alright, looks like you kinda got the hang of it. That was very kind of you to say. <laughs> I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. A word? I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Hey man, we share the same bad habit. Sorry. No need to apologize. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves too. For sure. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. What you wanna know? It's a deal.
Ó. Oh. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? From a little kid. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Allows you to use all around shut down one enemy. Mm. All right. earlier than usual today I gotta go see you later deuces man my kindness that's dope all right ah you're back I am back <laughs> What's up? No, no, no. Skip all that bullshit. Get to the point. Con... 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 What? Conscientis? Con... Con... Fuck that. Conscientious? Is that how you pronounce that? We're teammates, Haru. No, 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 no. Mako Chan. <laughs> Damn, y'all motherfuckers weird. <laughs> Awkward as hell. Another box just for me. I got a Nirvana ring, a black rock, five inch nail. Condenser lens times two. Yeah. All right. Ooh, five messages. Damn. And I'm not even tied up like that. <laughs> let's see though. We got equipment. Let's check. Um, let's check. It's called a Nirvana ring. That wasn't it. Tiki keychain. Magic and endurance by plus five. That's what we got from Makoto uh, in Hawaii. Spirit belt, crimson ring. Reduce bless damage high. Okay. It's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna check our messages real quick. But first and foremost, let me check my laptop, man. Let's uh check this website. <laughs> I like that. Okay, we got spyware laden gear. I will definitely gear slowed by spyware. That's exactly how it works. You snatch me one of these. I'm gonna snatch me one of these. A black robe. I'ma snatch me one of these. Hero eye patch. Snatch me one of these. Shit, that's expensive actually. Yeah, that's that's expensive. Sweet, thank you very much. Could I like check it again? Could I see your 
Super special gear. Oh, come on, man. I gotta wait for my order to come home. Alright, whatever, man. Let's see. Five messages. Oh, my goodness gracious. Start from the bottom. Blackmailing manager. That's good. That's good. Mm, that's less good. Okay. Yeah. That's great. About that stalker. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Um. Not yet, not yet. What we are going to do... I am going to... Get me to the bathhouse real quick. Okay. Washing machine did it! Yeah, we got, we got a couple of things here. Uh, grimy gear. Add another one. Uh, acrylic coated gear add another one paint flecked one uh, add another one and the dust crusted one yes uh, yes call Kawakami Hi. Ah, fine all that money man ah you do you what we are going to do now, we're gonna spend some time with uh, Homegirl, but before that, we have another five stacks we want to spend. It's worth it, man. Trust me, there's a method to the madness. Get a fortune reading, please. What shall we do? Um, I would like a luck reading. Yes. Now. Uh, knowledge. Thank you. Much appreciated. What do you think? Now. Let's spend some time with home girl. Yep. That's right. Your next opponent will finally be a professional one. My client's a big shot in Pro Soul Geek Players Association, so I worked really hard to set it up. Don't fuck this up. That's but Hmm. Is this young man a fan of yours, Hifumi? No, mother. He's my shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your shogi friend, hmm? Let me just say this. I hope you're not harboring any weird feelings for Hifumi. <gasps> mother. As I'm sure you're already aware, you are not allowed to date, young lady. You've started to attract a number of new male friends with all of your photo spreads. Yes. Mother. You can't get 50 guys like him once you're famous. I need to accomplish the things I was never able to do. Come on, man. You can't live vicariously through your daughter. That's not how it works. Now, I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. I'm going to have 50 guys with me and it's going to be a long night. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. Man. So. She's type scary, isn't she? That was quite honest of you. Oh, uh, not although inaccurate either. Not altogether inaccurate either. Well, I'm an honest motherfucker. What can I say? 
My father is ill and unable to support us. <laughs> my father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He's usually calm, but when he played you could really feel his spirit. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing shogi too. But after pouring everything he had into shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, shogi stole both her dream and her husband. And yet, she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional so I can make enough money to ease my parents' burden. Um. I do photo shoots and interviews, hoping they will add some money to our household income. But it's honestly quite difficult for me. Well then, you should stop. I'm happy that you're so concerned about me. But when I think about my mother, I... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family and I want to support them through our troubles. <sighs> this isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on such negative topics before a match. Well then, let's play. Today, I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. This will teach you to escape from disadvantageous situations. Allows you to attempt to escape even when surrounded by enemy. That's good. All right. You ready? That aura. My right is starting to twitch. Now, it's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. I'll start. That's how you get pink eye though, so don't do that. All right. Oh man, Until just next time. That wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lessons next time. Thank me for waiting. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Gaudy undies? Undies? grab a bite after school I do have me some Big Bang Burger coupons but we probably shouldn't go there anymore huh uh, no I hear you'll have a fucking psychotic breakdown if you eat there I mean haven't all of Okumura's enemies died in strange ways well you guys are not you, you guys are not his enemies you got he loves y'all spend money and he's gonna love y'all Yeah. Hey. Oh my god. Here we go again with this bullshit. Get me to the library, fam. Yeah, I'm gonna return a book. No! Shit! I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I'm sorry! What is this? I don't wanna. Alright, we're back, and since we don't have enough charm to hang out with Makoto, we're gonna spend some time with homegirl Tai Takemi. I have to talk to your ass, but first! Please head to the exam room. I want to buy some Which SP one? adhesives, man. What? Where is it? Why do you have such a serious look on? I see. Um. It's exceptionally effective. Here you go. Buy one more. One more. Take care. All right. 
So let's hang out with you. Uh, let's check our bond. Okay. Talk to her. Hold on a sec. Oh, fine. I'll go to you. So just wait there. So what did you need to talk about? I thought I asked you not to come back here. Oh, doctor, doctor, and you too. Yes. I wanted to speak with you right away. The hospital that was on the news is the same as the one you used to work at, right? The hospital on the news? Oh dear. I'm afraid everyone was thinking the same thing. But I know you weren't capable of doing those terrible things. What is it? What's going on? Oh my. You really don't know, do you? Chief of Staff Oyamada turned himself in. He was manipulating things behind the scenes. Turns out he was the one who made that terrible medical error and laid the blame on his subordinate. Huh? Is that true? It's been on the news channel all over the country. I haven't seen it. I just knew something didn't add, quite add up about that story. I never believed someone like you could have ever done something like that. Hooray, doctor! You go, sick girl. But what's a medical error? What? Um, it's something that shouldn't be allowed to happen, I guess? What's the meaning of this? Is this all some elaborate joke? Why am I surrendering himself? At such a convenient time? Why? It doesn't matter. It's too late. It doesn't change the fact that I couldn't save her. Listen, man. Miwa Chan is alive. <gasps> what? There's no way. Wait. Did the news what? mention anything about a patient involved in the medical error incident? Oh. It must have been difficult for her too. I heard she has been moved to another hospital. What's the matter, dear? Are you okay, doctor? I see. So, she's alive. Let's get to work, doctor. Mm. Yes, of course. Do you have time? You will help me, right? I'll take back what I said. We'll resume development right away. I'll compensate you well. Whatever you want, however much, just let me know. Rank 8, baby. Alright. Sorry. We're going to have to move quickly today, so you may experience some pain during the examination. Sorry, just hang in there, okay? It's for me, Wachan, or it's for my exams, it's for you. Uh, it's... I think this is... This is definitely... The path... To romance, I think? So I'm just gonna say it's for my exams. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here, we got some text messages. Oh my god, everybody wants our help right now. Um, hmm, okay, let's see here. I need your help. Sorry fam, I can't tonight. I wish it was kind of raining. I got a scoop. Yeah. Sorry. Not tonight. Big lead. Oh, 
Uh, later. Later for that. We're gonna spend some time with Kawakami. Let's call her. Listen. Something unbelievable just happened. I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There is other stuff I want to ask you about too. You'll request me today, right? Yeah. Hey. Let's call her over, man. Thanks. You got it. Hey there. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Takashi-kun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to send any more money and that they will return everything I paid for them. It's like they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. Hey, you wouldn't be, um... Hmm, anyway, it's such a relief. They admitted about Takashi-kun and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I am a good teacher. And so, I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took me a while to work out who would cover my shifts. I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well... Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can take care of my students and earn their trust. And that's the ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. Hmm, nonsense. Yeah, you're right. I'm still within the demographic age range of what's being considered young. I was always able to rely on you, master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you were such a good listener. Thanks again. Oh crap! You're welcome, I suppose. Why, well, thank you for your service. Thank you for your hard work as a master. Ooh, so close now. So close now. All right. So, um... At any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Ha can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state of this place. I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet either. Besides, won't you be lonely? Hmm? I want to keep seeing you. I take it to get lonely easily. You shouldn't say stuff like that casually, okay? Some women may misunderstand your intentions. Yeah, well... Giving someone the wrong idea, it's a sinful act, you know? Alright, see? This, this right here is your chance to romance her, so if you want to romance Kawakami, and it is tempting to have a teacher and maid, it's also tempting to have a doctor, you say, I mean what I say. But I'm a finna say, got it, because I want a platonic relationship with her. It's a friendship. That was pretty honest of you. You're quite the problem, child, but you're still a good person. I'll protect you as your homeroom teacher. Appreciate that, Kawakami. And of course, I'll keep my initial promise too. The one about slacking off in class? I appreciate you, man. See you later. Deuces. Do you know the answer? Therefore, in this context, the nuance of an idiom is the complete opposite. I saw a lot of errors on the previous test, so please be more careful in the future. Hey! Excuse me, motherfucker! No sleeping in class. Today's examples will be on your entrance exam, so make sure you know them. What's up with Kawakami? She usually lo looks so tired. I talked to her this morning about my future, and she was super polite, friendly even. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Yes. Sweet. So, the play that this Czech playwright wrote... Mm. What do you think the Phantom Thieves are gonna do about Okumura? Is an important work in the history of literature for being the first to use the word robot. Duh, make him have a change of heart. These corrupt corporations should just go bankrupt. Quiet down. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Okumura and the Phantom Thieves. Jeez, Karagol, you were listening at least, right? Yeah, yeah. Answer this question. The word robot didn't come from English, so what country did it come from? Uh, Czechoslovakia. Way to go! That's right! It originated from Czechoslovakia, a European country. I suppose the question was a little obscure. The word robot comes from Czech word robota. Robota actually means slave labor. Alright, and we are going to call it an episode right here. Next episode, we're gonna keep working on our confidants, see where we end up. Until then, this has been your boy Katago Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all. Deuces.